Hey friends, a little late. I was trying to get on earlier, but I was having issues with Instagram. So waited till baby went down and then decided to jump on. So I had put out an invite saying I wanted to talk about a kind of an essential oil 102 class. Um, just kind of a quick run through. Um, I have my oils now what? So I wanted to talk about that and just brief you. So for example, if you have joined doTERRA and you have got your oils and you're kind of staring at the box saying, I don't know what to do, and um, we haven't quite um, gotten together yet, then this will help as well. So um, every time someone enrolls with me, I always sit down and we play with their oils, go over all these things in depth and make some rollers and get them comfortable with how simple it is to use essential oils um, and any doTERRA products. So know that that is something I always do, uh, but this is just kind of a great way to brief through it and hope um, to get you a little comfortable and then reach out to me. So, so for example, uh, whenever you enroll with me with a kit, you will get this Essential Life book. Um, so I have one, it's a wonderful book. So you have an introduction, you have a list a reference guide on going through different ailments so you can look up headache and it'll show you some top oils for that as well as individual oils oil blends and also recipes and body systems so focus areas like muscle support or um, kids things like that so it's a huge section so it's got a lot of information to go through so I thought I'd just brief through the introduction that's what I do in my 102s it's really simple it shows you basically how to use this book and how to uh, become rely on your resources that you have so uh, first things first you have your oils and some of us know we can diffuse we might know about rollers but maybe we don't know how to make them yet things like that so three ways um, to use essential oils so the application methods you have aromatic topical and internal so aromatic, you're going to diffuse. You can also do a diffuser in your hands by dropping some oil directly in your hands and reaping the benefits of getting that into your bloodstream, hitting the back of your throat, and um, kind of one step before taking internally. So some of us get weary about taking oils internally, but we actually kind of are when we breathe it aromatically. Topically, we can do this with a roller. We can do it neat if an oil is safe for that, which, uh, for example, balance is safe to put on neat, but oregano is not. Oregano is a very hot oil. You want to dilute down quite a bit. So with topical, I give you a dilution chart and you can reach out to me and I can send this to you. I, I have a few of them I like. So dilution charts will tell you how many essential oil drops to a carrier oil when you're putting on topically. And this is more applicable. Obviously balance is diluted down a little bit. We can put that on neat in this book and um, you'll notice a lot of places, uh, resources will identify whether it's neat or not. So you can put it on just right onto the skin, no dilution. Um, but otherwise we're gonna dilute according to that chart. So for example, little ones, so newborns, you're only gonna put maybe, let me show you. So in a roller, this is a 10 ml roller, you're only gonna put one drop of essential oil and then the rest um, fractionated coconut oil. But for example, for me, if it was a daily use, I might put 20 to 25 drops of essential oil and the rest topped with a carrier oil. So carrier oils can vary too, but the most popular is fractionated coconut oil. Really easy just to get on Amazon, actually. A lot of um, the tools that I refer to as well are on Amazon. So if you are interested in a list of my favorite supplies, you can also direct message me and I will send you that link. Lots of good stuff. So that's topical. Um, don't miss anything, right? You can learn more about other carrier or carrier oils, such as like argan oil and rosehip rose rose seed oil are gonna be really great for the face, uh, for aging skin, dry skin. So you can you can learn a lot about about carrier oils, just the same as essential oils. Uh, internal usage, so we can take internally, and we're gonna reap a lot of benefit. Uh, sometimes when we're starting out, we want to start uh, back it off a little bit, maybe start with one drop of an essential oil at a time, or maybe just uh, one of a few. So if you're sick, um, if you've heard of the flume blend, you could take one drop of each in a veg capsule. And a veg capsule, you can add to your cart. Looks just like this. Sorry, my nails are 
not looking too good. So you just drop it. It's just a little veg capsule encapsulates that essential oil and disintegrates when it gets in to your stomach and helps it get broken down. So great way to take internally. We also have soft gels with doTERRA of a lot of the popular oils like On Guard, Digestin, Zendocrine, Copaiba, some like that. So you can always check those out as well. So internal is super beneficial. Can't say enough about that. If you are sick, you definitely need to take that internally as well as topically. So let's see here. Also internally, you can drop in water. So for example, citrus, wonderful in water. Just put in water. And the way you can tell if an essential oil you can be taken internally, oh, let's see here, wild orange. So it will look like a nutrition label. And it is hard to see because it's kind of blurry, but I can take a screenshot. So it's gonna say supplement facts and it's gonna look like a nutrition label versus another one that is not. So I'll post a picture after so you can see that. So one question I get from a lot of new people starting out with oils is, I've tried these oils and they're not working or you know, what am I doing? What, what do I need to improve? So um, when oil isn't working, you're gonna think of application method first of all. So think about where you're putting that oil or how you're taking it. So for example, if you are on your death, deathbed sick and you're just applying topically and you're maybe just putting on your chest, I would say put on the bo bottoms of your feet, that is the, our, lo our largest blood supply, lots of nerve endings, as well as up and down our spine, and then I would take internally. So trying something new, trying a different application method. Um, so you wanna think about pulse points too. Um, a lot of emotions, oils will wear on our heart, um, but a lot, of, a lot of places you can put oils, it just depends on what it is. Uh, frequency of use. So if you are, if you have food poisoning, if you have stomach flu, you would be p applying every 20 to 30 minutes applying often, keeping that in your system. Our body can only process so much of, a, of an essential oil at a time. So it's not about how strong you're making that roller. Um, it's gonna be about the frequency. If you have something more like a cold flu, um, exhaustion every one to two hours. So a little bit less for an everyday oil if you're just trying to protect your immune system. And these are just, I'm using immune as an example. Um, I, I apply, an immune roller on the bottom of my feet and up and down my spine every day. So to protect myself from getting sick, avoid getting sick. So um, I do that every day. So you're also gonna do a little bit less in dilution as that, and you can bump up the dilution a little bit when you are doing something with a targeted concern. So oil selection is another one. So look at what oils you have on hand. So for example, if you have, oh gosh, let's see here. Let's say you have balance and serenity, and you are stressed out and you're trying balance because everyone's told you how great it is, right? Your body might agree better with a different oil, so you need to try different oils and see how compatible you are with another one. Our chemistry is all different. Every essential oil chemistry is different, so try something new. So Serenity is a restful blend, and even though it's meant for sleep a lot of times, it's also great for stress and anxiety, so give that a shot. Same with immunity. Um, if we have oregano and melaleuca and you're trying oregano, you can actually throw in melaleuca and it's going to help that oregano work even better. So there's things like that. Look at what you have on hand. Don't think you have to go out of your way and buy a specific oil because this book la labels out five different oils it identifies. doesn't mean you need all five. Look at what you have. Hey, I have two of those oils. Great. I'm going to give them a try. And then just kind of learn about oils as you go and and what would work for that issue you have going on. Um, so for safety and storage, that's one thing I want to talk about. Safety, the most important is dilution, especially with kids and elderly. And um, also educating yourself on if you're pregnant, like oils that you cannot have, such as clary sage, while you're pregnant. And limiting your internal usage. Keeping that babe safe. Um, but then also for safety, yeah, we want to dilute on our skin, no matter what, for babies and elderly, uh, we can do some neat, like I said, and making sure like oregano is always diluted. So I said all those things already, but also sun exposure. If you're using a citrus, you want to stay out of the sun. They say 12 to 24 hours. Um, it will kind of burn your skin. So it's a photosensitive oil. So you want to stay away from applying topically. You can certainly take internally though, which... I did. I was on vacation in Cabo and I had 
Corona, and so I dropped some lime in it instead of putting a lime wedge and getting it stuck and and all that. So it worked really well. Um, so for storage, um, just don't suggest putting in. You don't want to put in heat. You don't want to put on a window window seal where it's going to get light and get warm. We want to keep our oils in room temperature. You can also keep them in colder areas. So if you're leaving some in your car right now and it's the colder season, then that's probably fine. But once it starts warming up, we want to make sure we keep those out of the sun. So I'm trying to be kind of quick about this for you guys. So I just want to show you real quick what this book has. So you have ailments A to Z. There are quite a few pages here and it lists out an ailment. So for example, age spots, that's just the first one I saw. Saying age spots and it's giving you a description of what it is and then what it recommends oils and usage wise. So it is gonna tell you the type of oil it's suggesting and then the application method. So for example, it's saying um, all of these are topical usage. So they'll mark whether it's aromatic, internal or topical. These are all topical. Anti-aging blend, frankincense, sandalwood, spinkenard, and pedigree. And they're listing all those out. And then it refers you to the body systems section and page where you can look that up in specific. So um, for example, if I just wanna say, well, what's in the anti-aging blend? When you're looking at this book, it is going to refer to the generic name. It is not gonna to refer to the doTERRA name. So for example, Immortel, is the anti-aging blend. So that is the anti-aging blend and it's a blend. This book will tell you, you flip right to the page here, the blends, it has an anti-aging section and it says frankincense, Hawaiian sandalwood, lavender, myrrh, helichrysum, rose, and it's gonna tell you the uses, wrinkles, fine lines, sun damage, skin cancer, uh, scars, stretch marks, blemishes, tension, mood, balance, etc. So it's gonna list out all those things. Now, you might have heard frankincense in the blend. So for example, it listed out frankincense as one and it also listed out anti-aging blend. You're just gonna pick what you have. Let's say you got the top 10 oils, you have frankincense. Great, use it for frank use your frankincense. And then when you're ready to add another oil to your collection, add on the Immortel, the anti-aging blend. Something like that. So make it, um, make it realistic for yourself. So you have the oil blends, you also have the individual oils. So all of these are gonna tell you the main constituents and they are going to tell you the ingredients if they are a blend and the top uses. Hello. So when you flip to your body system focus area, it is gonna dig deeper. So if you have something in particular going on, I suggest reading through this, it's gonna give you the top single oils and blends it's suggesting as well as by property. So for example, for the brain, um, anti-inflammatory, it's listing out a ton of them, but top few are basil, bergamot, birch, black pepper, things like that. Hey, hey, it's late. <laughs> I was supposed to be on earlier, but I really wanted to just um, get this out. So talking about when you have your oils, um, now what, and kind of a guide through the book. So, so also in that same section, you will have remedies, which give you some recipe ideas. And I say ideas because there's a lot of recipes out there and what's in those blends might not be exactly what you need. So branch out, go on the doTERRA website and you can just search, um, you can search by ailment. You can go to, it is called, um, if you go to the main website and you go under advocates, it's going to be discover solutions. That's what it is. Very similar idea of this book. Um, so also by condition. So for the brain, it's saying memory loss. It's saying arborvitae, myrrh, Siberian fur, time. So you can really start to learn, okay, these are the oils I maybe need to read more about. And then open your single oils page and read more about myrrh and how wonderful it is. And then as you realize that that oil has side benefits, then you realize, okay, like I can actually use this for I can use this for my skin and I can use it for memory. That sounds like a great one. So gives you an idea. What else? All the body systems and then in the back recipes and recipes could be DIY things for cleaning. It can be recipes for food. So like I said, you can take internally. You can also add to um, food. So 
that is kind of the gist of the book and a great introduction. There's also information on the supplements. And again, they're all generic names. So making sure that you're kind of looking under, if you look at a bottle, it'll say the main, um, it'll say the doTERRA name. This is wild orange, but for example, Zendocrine. And then it'll say detoxification blend. So it'll be the detoxification blend in the book. So, um, so when you have your oils, and you have figured out how to use them, you start going through and you're wanting to get another oil to your collection or you're running out of something, or maybe you wanna get some of their accessories um, to make rollers, you can um, order a couple ways. So, I, I, don't, I don't even say a couple ways because there's one smart way to order and then there's one that you just don't save as much. So, there is a one-time order. It's the green. Yeah, it is. I know. I know your name always throws me off. I knew it was you though. <laughs> it is, it's Essential Life book. So this is all in here. Um, and sometimes, so they come out with a new edition each year. So sometimes when you go to look for one of the newer oils, it depends. Right now it's on the fifth edition. So, um, but any of the oils missing, that if you have the fourth edition, you can buy the extra pages on the doTERRA website. Just add, it's in our literature and it's the convention kit, and they're just product pages. So, it, I mean, it's not in the book, but it's only a book, and it's got all the information. So, very similar. So, if you've enrolled, you're ready to order. Um, you can order one time, um, and that's just meaning you're gonna pay for shipping, you're still gonna get your wholesale discount, and that's that. If you order, it's called a loyalty order, or a loyalty rewards, program or LRP, you'll hear any of those terms. That means you are going to get shipping back and then you can earn points back. So I always suggest that whether you're ordering one time or not, you're not committed to monthly. You can cancel, you can adjust. It is the most flexible order you can make. Basically, you're just setting up a template. You're saying, hey, you know, in this next month, I want to order around the 5th. So I'm going to set that date and I'm going to add my items and, and then as you add your items, you just save and leave it because it's a few days away. And you might think, oh, I wanted to try the toothpaste, I forgot. You add it to it, and let's say you take something out. You can add things, take them out all day long. The minimum for the order is one PV, which is one point. The smallest item is like five PV, which is like a hand sanitizer, the On Guard hand sanitizer. Um, but you're gonna get shipping back on that still. So even if you're paying for that, you're gonna get the shipping back in points. So um, even if you were gonna order, on loyalty um, one month and let's say you're gonna place a bigger order and then the next month you really don't want to just go ahead and reduce that down and that's the best way to just let your accrual freeze and your your points go away if you cancel so you want to use those but that just allows you to not worry about that for now and then jump back in the month that you're ready um, if you're ordering 50 PV or more, you're going to get 10 to 30% back on your purchase. It depends how many months you are on loyalty. So for example, I've been on loyalty order 50 PV or more for over a year. I have swapped things out of my house. I don't go to Target Rite Aid for certain things. I don't go to Costco for certain things. I buy them from doTERRA. They're more cost effective, free shipping. I get, I don't, from Target, I don't get 30% back on my purchase. I get five for red card. So it was way a way better idea um, and better way to go and just way more. I, I, and they're all toxic-free, clean, healthy, therapeutic products. So it was a win-win. So over 50 PV, you get your shipping points back as well as 10 to 30% back. So if you're ordering over 100, sorry, my dog's in here. If you're ordering over 100 PV or more, um, that is if you're doing the business then you can have the opportunity to get commission back even if you're not doing it as business and you've shared with a couple people and um, in my terms I put them under you or with you in your own little community then you can possibly get commission if you're just placing a hundred dollar order you might see a random check come in and so it doesn't mean you're committed to do anything it just means that's the way it works <laughs> 125 PV or more, you actually can get a free product of the month if you order before the 15th on loyalty. This month, it is a 15 ml of lemongrass. I don't think I have one in front of me. I put it away. Um, so le you, uh, lemongrass, where there's only a couple days left. So if you haven't ordered yet this month um, in your current customer, you want to set up your loyalty, get that ordered um, before, is it Friday? Yeah, it's Friday. Can't I can't keep my days straight. 
So, and if you're also ordering this month, they always kind of throw in every once in a while a 200 PV or more order. And for this month, you would get two things. And I don't have the other one right in front of me. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. This month you get a bottle of Deep Blue Rub as well as a five ml of Deep Blue Essential Oil Blend. This blend is this rub. It's an easier application method. This is like a guy lover, easy on the go. You don't have to make a roller. This is great for adding to a massage. Um, if you're doing a few oils, making a jumbo roller um, for a post-workout, things like that. So these are free and this is over $80 value. So I don't know specifically, I should know that. But it's just too wonderful of a deal. I didn't even look up the specifics. So 200 PV or more, you get two of these. I know, it's mine too. I'm like, come on people, you need this stuff. Um, especially when they're free. So you'll get those um, if you are new or ordering on loyalty as a current customer. Either way, if you're ordering 200 PV or more. If you are going to be ordering 400, you want to place it as two orders. So you get double the free stuff. So... Um, if you are enrolling too, that's same thing. You can enroll with 200 PV and turn around and place another order and get it again. So and that is the gift from doTERRA. The Essential Life book is my gift to you as well as some oil goodies that I bring and when we sit down and go over your membership console and making sure you understand how to order and all those things. Um, and I can always do a little video on um, how to set up your loyalty order. I know that's probably the most confusing thing, but once people get it, they're like, that's why wouldn't I do that so I think it scares people to think of a monthly order but just know that it's flexible you can change anything in the cart you can have nothing at all it doesn't matter so if you cancel you call doTERRA and they pick up on the same ring or the first ring every time and and um, if I've, I've had a couple people cancel it and they just ask why and just make sure you know that your points go away so redeem them if you haven't and then that's that so it's pretty simple. And then really everyone that's done that has started back up the next month. And then they just kicked themselves because they went from 25% back down to 10. So just think about that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I was just trying to keep this short and sweet, but thank you for anyone that watches this. I'm gonna be doing another 101 and going over what I do in a class a little bit. So I'll try to do a little bit simpler of a, of a walk through of that keep it a little bit shorter i've done that before so i'll be setting up that invite on facebook so if you are interested in essential oils and you have no clue all the things i'll tell you so you can um you can rsvp to it you don't have to rsvp um, but that's where you're going to find out about when i'm going to be doing it and i will be going live on instagram and then i'll post the recording on my facebook so if you don't have Instagram, uh, you'll just watch the recording, I guess, or download Instagram. I've had one person do that. So yeah, so I will be setting that up. If you're interested in a class, let me know. I've got my Toby scanner going to be your Friday. So I will be bringing that with me to classes. So if you are interested in that and you've been wanting to take a class, it's a, it's a kind of great perk about attending. So anyways, have a wonderful night and we'll talk soon. Thanks.